OK, you've written your hit song, you've recorded it, and you're ready for world fame. But will you be as successful as you'd hoped, or will you fail to shift a single copy, even from the bargain bin? Up until now, music experts have gone on gut instinct when deciding on hit potential. I think because now there are so many records that are contending for chart positions, it's more important than ever that the quality threshold is high, that you've got a really strong melody, a really strong tune, a hook you can sing. I think it's more important than ever just because there is so much more out there. Their software will look for mathematical patterns in your music, and if they're not there, you're unlikely to achieve fame, fortune, or the chance to throw a TV from a hotel room window. But there are so many possible combinations of notes in the world. How can a computer possibly tell a good song from a bad one? To make a judgment like that, they would have to be able to base it on um, all of the music which is available and ever been written. Um, so, in a sense, um, I would have expected that it would be possible. Polyphonic have taught their software about hit music by creating this, a huge hit database called the Music Universe. Each of these dots is a hit song from the last 50 years, and there are three and a half million of them. Where a song lives in the universe is determined by patterns that their software finds in its melody, chord progression, rhythm, and so on. Songs with similar patterns are close together, and songs that are vastly different end up far apart. Come away with me. Apparently, having similar patterns doesn't mean you're just following existing trends and fashion. Polyphonics say they can recognize new styles. After all, a pleasing melody is a pleasing melody, whatever the style. For example, Nora Jones's material was quite different from anything released before, yet they tested her songs and found they had huge hit potential. This was long before Nora won awards and sold millions of copies. OK, does it work? We asked Polyphonic to analyze some well-known hits. Unsurprisingly, they all came back with high scores. Music has long been regarded as an art form, but let's face it, it can all be represented as a sequence of numbers. So maybe there is something in the mathematical pattern theory. Or maybe these patterns are just the numerical representation of a good tune. And maybe I'm about to have a profitable career as a music legend. Yeah, I'll let you know.